welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe feel free to click on the notification bell so that you can get notifications once a video pop up so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew eye low cape blouse okay or eye low cape top so eye low cape top basically is a form of top where the back block is longer than the front block and the number of inches you want that is the difference between the front block and the back block totally depends on how long you want it to be don't forget to join us on facebook to the designs on instagram to the designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your eye low cape dress? Basically, you just need your circumference of your shoulder, which is going to serve as your shoulder measurement and your top length, okay? So you need the circumference of your shoulder and your top length. And basically for the top length, you just need like your front top length because the back block is always longer and like I said earlier it totally depends on how many inches difference you want from the front block and the back block so let's go ahead now and calculate our measurements before then let me show you guys how to get your shoulder measurements for this cape top the measurement for this cape top I'm making use of this tape measure all you have to do now is to place your tape measure across your shoulder this way and this is because your cape top is going to sit on your shoulder right so you place your tape measure this way across your shoulder to be able to have your shoulder measurements note that you are not using your shoulder measurement which is like a regular shoulder for this form of blouse so you place your tape measure this way across your shoulder and then you take your shoulder measurement so for me now I have 40 inches so we'll go ahead now and have 40 inches which will serve as your shoulder measurement. Note that you are to place your tape measure across your shoulder and take the measurement for yours, okay? So just place it this way and then you take your measurement. So we have 40 inches. So 40 divided by 4, I have 10 inches. Now, another thing you should also take note of when you want to achieve your cape top is that it is better that you have a small um, cape it's better your cape is smaller than your shoulder more than if it's better if your cape is smaller than your shoulder compared to when your cape is bigger and this is because if you cut it out and you have like a bigger cape it's not going to sit on your shoulder and it's going to be falling off and i'm sure you don't want that right so it is best you have a measurement that sits on the shoulder and it's even preferable if your measurement is even tight so that it can sit on the shoulder and be firm enough so I will advise that because you are also to fold your fabric into four in a flesh shape and normally when you take measurements in a flesh shape, it tends to be bigger than the exact measurement. So I will advise that you deduct two inches from your measurements, right? So I will deduct two inches now and we have eight inches. So this eight inches is what we are going to use to get the circumference of our shoulder measurements and I hope you guys understand that so the next one now is our top plate our top plate is 17 inches I'll just go ahead and add my sewing allowance to it plus one I have 18 inches so I'm going to have 18 inches for the front block and for the back block it depends on how long you want it to be so you can determine that you want your back block to be 10 inches longer than your front block 8 inches longer than your front block 15 inches it just depends on what you want so if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or if you have any video you want us to make okay if you have any topic you want us to put a video up please comment down in the comment section so i'm putting up this uh, one shoulder booboo -boo dress and i'm going to have the details of the video in the description box if you're interested in learning how to make this blouse then stay tuned and that is the reason why you also have to click on that notification bell so that you will get notified once this video pop up so now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial. so 
so guys now we want to achieve our eye low cape dress so the first thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and fold our fabric into four now you've gone ahead now to fold your fabric into four the next thing you are going to do now is to cut out your circumference of your shoulder because your cape is basically going to sit on your shoulder right so once you have that now what we want to achieve here is eight inches what we want to achieve here is eight inches so you basically place your tape measure this way mark where you have your eight inches this is where we have our eight inches so you place your tape measure this way we have five bring it across this way we have five and then you take it this other way once you are done, you go ahead and connect it together. Now, it's better you have like your circumference for your cape to be tight than when it's free. So, if this part happens to be tight, it might not sit well. If this part happens to be big, rather, it will not sit well on your shoulder. So, it is preferable that you make this part to be tight. And if it's too tight, you can trim it off than making it big and it soon sits on your shoulder. So, you should take note of this when you are cutting yours. Now, the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and take our length. So, from this part now, we'll go ahead and measure our front length, which is 18 inches. Because what we want for the front block is 18 inches, right? So we'll go ahead now and mark 18 inches. Place your tape measure to this edge because this is where you are going to take your measurement. And then you check out what you have. So we have 22 inches. Still place your tape measure at this edge and then you bring it this way. We have 22 inches. You can see what we are doing. Bring it this way now. You have 22 inches. Now, at this point now, you are going to determine how long you want your back block to be. Of course, this part where we have the smaller part is going to fall in the front. So, you determine how long you want your back block to be. And that totally depends on you. Now, before that, let's go ahead and have this as a complete circle so that it will be easy for you to understand better. So, we have 22 inches now. I'll place it this way and then I'll mark my 22 inches and then I'll connect it together so basically this is where our front block is going to be right you can see the circle of what we have now you want to determine how long you want your back block to be and that the that depends on how many inches you want to add okay and it totally depends on you so you can add 10 inches extra 12 15 it just depends on the length you want for your back block so i'm basically going to be making of 33 inches for my back block so i'll go ahead now and just mark the length of my back block this way 33 and then i'll place it this way again towards the edge and then i'll mark it i'll place it towards the edge i'll mark it i'll still slant my tape measure to this part where i can have my 33 inches and then i'll mark this part so once i'm done now i'll go ahead and connect my lines together so you will discover that we have one curve at this part which doesn't get to this edge and the reason is because this is where our front block is going to be and then we have this part which just indicates like the length of our cape now when you are cutting out this part of your cape please ensure that you don't have excess it is better your circumference here is tight than is big right and for my circumference of my shoulder i have 40 inches 40 divided by for I have 10 inches now because what we have is a circle shape I went ahead to deduct two inches for from my circumference of the shoulder right so what we have is 40 divided by 4 we have 10 so I deducted two inches and then I marked eight inches at this part and don't forget that because your fabric is folded in a circular shape, even these 8 inches will end up giving you like your normal shoulder measurement. And it is better your cape is tight than your cape is free because it's not going to sit on your shoulder and I'm sure you don't want that to happen. So make sure you, you deduct about 2 inches from your shoulder circumference when you are getting this circle. Now don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe i'll basically go ahead now and cut off this part 
once i'm done i will also cut out this lower part and then i'll show you guys what it looks like guys now i've gone ahead to cut out this part and i've also cut out the lens okay where we have the longer lens now if you cut out like this length first it simply means that what you want to have is like a equal cape okay so if you want me to make a tutorial on how to achieve your equal cape put down in the comment section and i'm going to show you guys how to achieve that but what we want to achieve today is eye low cape so that is why we are having two measurements one for the back block and one for the front block but if you want me to have like an equal cape please comment below and i'm going to put up the video now i've gone ahead now to cut this out let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have what you are going to have so both the front block and the back block are going to be equal because we cut out the what the longer flay now what we want to achieve now is to go ahead and cut out the front right because the front is shorter than the back so we want to cut out the front now in order for you to cut out the front this is where we have our markings for so this is where we have our markings for the shorter flare which happens to be the front block so what you are going to do now is you are basically going to open this up and just cut it out make sure you open this up before you cut out this part where you have your short flare to open this up you can see the way i opened it so this way now we have the front block this way and then we have that part as the back block and of course because we want the back to be long so we are not dealing with that part and this is where we have as our front block right so at this point now you can just determine if you want it to be longer or you still want to like maintain the length it depends on how short you want your front block to be note that it depends on how short you want it to be and of course that certainly depends on the length of your blouse right so once we are done now we are basically going to go ahead now and cut this out so we are just following this shape that we have and then we'll cut it out to this point. So once I'm done cutting this out, I'll show you. So guys, I've cut this off and this is basically what we have. I'm done cutting this out. This is basically what our eye top looks like. And you can see where we have our front block which is short. And then you can see how long our back block is. So you can decide to increase your length or reduce your front length. It all depends on what you want to achieve at the end of the day. And basically, trust me, your cape top is ready, like ready. So what you are going to do now is you are basically going to M your neckline, okay? So you M the neckline either with bias or with facing, it just depends on what you want. So when you go ahead now and M your neckline, you just simply go ahead and M all the sides. That is all the tip or the edges of your cape dress all the way round. With this now... So guys, this is basically what our cape dress looks like. So you can see, we've gone ahead now to M the neckline and you can see how short the front block is and the back block. You can see how it just drops and this is basically what our eye low cape dress or cape top looks like so just go ahead now and m the edges and you are good to go if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please drop it in the comment section or any video you want us to make and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe let me know if you have any question so you can rock this with a pair of jean or a skirt and then you are good to go. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.